so I'm here to do a changing video with Sui today. Um, I want to spend more time with my collection and making a lot more videos for you all with them. So I decided that I would bring sweet Sui out of the crib today and change her. So she's still wearing the outfit that I changed her into in the last video. It's about time that we um, gave her something new to wear. And although I love her in these sweet um, sea creature outfits that she has, um, today I'm going to try something slightly different on her. So let's go. I just thought that I would um, talk a little bit while um, I change her. Though I'm not too sure really what I'm going to be talking about. So I do apologize if this becomes quite rambly. Um, so I hope that you're all well. I am quite busy as you all know with reborning and I really shouldn't have done it that way. You got your little stuck there. Um, so I'm very very um, happy to be doing my work again. I missed it while I was on holiday but now that I'm not on holiday anymore I actually kind of feel like um, I could do things that I wanted to do when I was on holiday. <laughs> Um, so it's kind of interesting to see that that pattern has happened already. Um, I didn't really get much of a holiday to be honest. I still reborned, which is a bit of a shame on my behalf. Um, I should really learn to take more breaks and understand when I need a rest. But, um, I don't know, I miss the babies too much. <laughs> so, um, I'm hoping that, um... I can allow myself a lot more time off this year. I've got a lot of um, personal goals that I want to achieve as well, so definitely taking my time and using it wisely is something that I really need to do this year as well. But um, we're going to change Sue into this adorable pumpkin patch onesie that I got. It's actually not for her, but um, I couldn't wait to use it, so I'm going to use it today. Ah, and I'm super excited because in about half an hour um, a package should be arriving here. Um, it's the first package of the year and I'm super excited because inside of it is um, a Saskia again. So I've got my very first um, girl Saskia custom to do next month. And also I am... Um, expecting a twin A and you guys know that I've been missing my Georgia where I brought the twin A on impulse um, and I'm super excited because I've missed that size so much so I'm going to um, my mum's going to make her a body today I've already been at her <laughs> um, she needs to make a body for a custom order as well so um, we're going to kill two birds with one stone you look so cute in this pastel colour I don't normally put you in it um, and, um, yeah, so I'm really super excited for that, um, and I've been trying to come up with names for her, because you guys know I like the old-fashioned girly names, um, that I can put a modern twist on to, so, um, I've been trying to think of something, and nothing's really, like, I've got one name, but I don't think I ever thought that I would use it and um, I'm really excited to probably use that name and um, yeah I'm not too sure if I will but um, I am very excited all the same I do not know when I'll get to reborn her but hopefully sometime soon because um, I'm not prepared to wait for her <laughs> I have gone without that size for too long and the great thing is I mentioned that I was going to um, uh, in the future look for a, a prim size baby again and I haven't found anything that's stuck out so the great thing is if anything does come up I can either have two or you know I can sell one it's no big deal so yay <laughs> um, and yeah I'm just really excited for her because I didn't realize how much I was going to miss Georgia I don't miss Georgia herself I just miss the size of her kit and I did have the thoughts of doing a twin B but um, my best friend has a twin B, and I'm kind of a bit petty that way, where I don't like to have the same kit as her in the same in the house. So um, <laughs> I've decided that I would go twin A again because that was the original plan that she would have twin B and I would have twin A. So 
I'm going back to that. I think that would be the most suitable option for us. And um, I don't know, I've just really missed the poses of Twin A and um, just that kit overall. So I'm very excited for her to arrive. Um, it's just a shame I can't think of a name for her. Normally I have names set up, like my baby O that's coming. Oh my god, I'm so excited for her. But um, yeah, her name's been sorted out. And actually if I hadn't have decided to get this specific kit and keep it for myself, I think I would have called um, my twin A baby, baby O's name. So um, that was the original plan. And then I decided, nope, I'm going to keep the kit that I have been obsessing over for the last at least six months and um, it's going to become a girl because I originally wanted it as a boy but now I digress because I'm talking too much and Miss Sue is already dressed so she looks super cute she could actually wear this in Easter this would be a really e a really good Easter outfit I'm gonna pull you down so you can see a bit closer Okay, let me just close that over. Right. Oh, so you need to look this way. <laughs> so she's got the little um, bunny bow, um, hair bow on that we got from Kat, um, little shop of wonders. And then here's her outfit. It is to die for. So you guys know I love bunnies. And ironically, I brought bunny stuff for Georgia only. And that was her theme, bunnies and vintage stuff. And ever since then, I can't get enough of bunny stuff. It doesn't matter what size it comes in. I just have to buy it. And I just love this pleated detail down the front. Excuse my hand. Um, my kitten had a bit of an accident and um, ended up in a place she shouldn't go. And I had to give her a wee bath this morning. And she did not like it. So this is my war marks from that. But she's alright now. She's calmed down and everything. But... We had to clean her, which was such a shame, because she's so little. She's only 10 weeks old. Um, but, yeah, this I love this detailing underneath as well. It's actually um, joined up here on her. So it's just a onesie, but it's got this really beautiful overlay of the little bunny and the hot air balloons. It's just too cute, and I just love that it's got this little bow up here. It's such a shame that... Um, sorry, not Bountiful Baby... Um, pumpkin patch is going out, um, is going out of, um, being a clothing store, it's closing down, um, which is a real shame, but at the same time, I honestly, <laughs> there goes the dogs, Haley's just left the room, my sister Haley, um, so, um, yeah, it's a shame they're closing down, but I would have honestly not been able to afford things from there, they were quite expensive, and I, go to the outlet store quite often and now that they're closing down I've been able to buy so much stuff which has been great but I'm going to really miss the quality um, of pumpkin patch stuff I mean this was originally like I think $35 just on its own which is ridiculous um, and I got it for 5 so you know yay and the dogs are still not shutting up um, so yeah, Miss Sue looks absolutely adorable in this. I'm so glad I chose to put her in it. And I'm so excited. So I better go and um, get the rest of my day sorted. I have to paint today and um, I'm really looking forward to it. But I'm really, really excited for this kit to arrive. And Saskia, of course, because then I can um, put the blank kit next to Nico and... Um, the other Sasuke that I've got as a custom and see the difference again so I will be back with a new video very soon of a kit opening as you expect now and I will talk to you all soon bye